He'd be good as a sentinel. He has a lot of resistance until he's staggered. So I don't, I don't know if the enemies can stagger or not. Ah, oh god, he gave me a fight there. <laughs> don't do this to me! Ah, oh, not you. I'm gonna do the Kushi. Yeah, so Alexander's not Alexander. Fucking hell, it's not Alexander. Alexander was the um, idolin that Hope had. He was like the the wall, looking idolin. Uh, when I say have two, it's half past two for me. Not halfway to two. <clears throat> too easy. I know what other places do it differently, don't they? It didn't even occur to me dropping the past. From the the sentence, would pause. Uh, pause would cause not so much issues as like slight misunderstandings. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Okay, we're doing this. Oh shit! Oh god! Did I press the right thing? I did. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get. Oh. Uh, that was fish! What the fuck was that? I'm getting a hundred odds. Let's see. If I go with Cerberus, we're all attacking the same target. Like hole! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I never got it all. Good work, everyone. Oh, did we get the fragment? E got the cast fragment. Uh, cause half arsed means not quite arsed, right? Mm. I have something that's never greater than just something, yeah. I'm- We end up dropping the, the past. Because most people... Here, it would usually be half past whatever and I think dropping it automatically assumes this person who's receiving the information is also aware. Uh, <clears throat> oh, the story behind 13? Um, a bunch of misfits band together to take on their false gods in the process of fucking up everything about where they live. <laughs> oh, 13-2? Uh, well, I'm not entirely sure. I never finished this one. So at the moment, uh, Lightning is in Valhalla. Noel, this dude here, went to Valhalla. Um, apparently because he, he made like a, a wish. He is the last of humanity from 700 years in the future. Uh, he spoke with Lightning during a, a very brief fight with some other dudes who we don't quite know how he fits in yet. Uh, and then he was sent on his way with this Moogle to give to Sarah as a weapon. 
And now we are traveling through time. And trying to get to Valhalla. Because only Sarah um, actually remembers the ending of 13. Oh, completing the focus takes you to Valhalla. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Like the crystal, yeah. The crystal stasis could be linked to that. But at the end of 13, lightning disappeared completely. And that's strange in that we saw her speaking to them. Sarah's the only one that remembered. No one else remembers that. Um, from this game, we we just seen that they found Lightning's knife at the bottom of the crystal pillar, so they think that she's in like the the crystal stasis with Vanille and Fang. But I I don't quite know because they've never seen anything, never seen like a body crystallized. Sarah has memories of speaking to her. So we don't know if she, uh, Sarah was, she, she potentially had the options of maybe she was seeing in our timeline. Because they are kind of blending and bleeding through from one to another. Hey Noel, is the Atlas used in some war that happens in the future? Hmm, let me think, yeah. I remember this. Are you forgetting stuff? My memories are unreliable. You're unreliable. Should remember, but my memory is hazy, like I'm seeing them through fog <clears throat> glass. But not this time. I remember this one. There was a war hundreds of years before I was born. That's when Cocoon crashed into Pulse. Ah. In the future, is thought that Cocoon fell to Pulse during a war? Should I ask Noel to clarify? Oh! So if I- okay, so we're five years after the events of 13 in this- at this moment. We were initially three, but we jumped through a time gate and went to five years. So we jumped two years into the future to a different location. Um, this is going to get awkward. But when does that happen then? Because Cocoon's held up. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Lightning gave Hope the knife. Ah. Yeah, if you if you play more. It, it'll make more sense. And then you realise that when you play this, <laughs> the ending at least doesn't really make sense. And then I think we do see some of the characters, some of the other characters in this. I know Hope's older, um, Snow is away trying to get to Lightning. Okay, what about- yeah, I'm gonna ask about the crystal pillar. But what happens to Cocoon's pillar? What happens to lightning and the others? They say the pillar crumbled. In my age, there's nothing left but crystal sand. If we travel to the future, maybe we can stop it. Who's to say what's possible? That could be the reason we're here in the first place. I'm not gonna know where the fuck I'm going. Oh, shit. I was need to reposition myself if it's an enemy, which is quite low. That wasn't even a war. I had to ask him about it, but he famously know <laughs> knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Alright, I'm gonna go to the control thing. What is- why- why? What's underneath here? Hmm. Oh, I need you. Come on, drop for me. So in this one, you only have two party members. Um, that are constant. So you've got Noel and Sarah. And the third one, when you fight the creatures, you have a, a chance to get them as a crystal. Is it the same as vanilla? Oh, is it? Come on. Oh yeah! Oh, fuck, I never got it. Come on, pulse work night. Your percentage to drop is shit. In the paradox effect, that is what they're calling anything which is materializing or deep materializing. Was Aladdin's trousers? I could give him a slightly different outfit. thing is, if your party leader goes down, you switch to the other person. If Sarah went down, I would play as Noel until Sarah's back for back. So we don't game over. <laughs> Fuckers die. Even though you've got two other party members and 13. Oh, that was one nice. <gasps> we got him. There we go. Uh, what are you? Have a look at you. False night. Early peeker, really? Ah, you're the sentinel one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, your third party member is made up of any of the monsters you find, and you can upgrade them. Upgrade them with, um... It's kind of like they've got their own CP, but you use items that drop from battle, or you buy. <laughs> you can put hats in them? Yes, you can. So you'll, um... Okay, so I don't know if you've seen any of the, the live triggers. So that's when I get the question on the screen and I have four answers that I can go with. Uh, picking certain ones can change the conversation, um, but will also maybe grant you a reward if you answer a certain way. Most of the time, it's been uh, adornments for them. So you can wear silver gear, you can wear a ribbon on you, you can get a tattoo, get a cap you can change the monster name but there's a, it's from a list uh, and you can infuse them so when you infuse them you then can gain some of the abilities if they're not locked Saren Snow still an item? Okay, so they are, but you can answer that you're not. Or not not that you can answer it, you're not. Um you can answer like he's my fiance, he's my hero, he's someone really special to me. He is away trying to find a way to get lightning back. So it's three years after the events of thirteen and he's doing this because he's fully believes what happened with Sarah in the conversation and that at the end of 13 uh, even though no one else remembers it so he's decided he's gonna try and find a way to get lightning back but we've not seen him yet oh 
<clears throat> so at the moment, they are still a thing. Yeah, well, she... Sarah actually ended up being a school teacher. So after the events, um, they set up a new place on Grand Pulse called New Bodom. Because that's the one in 13 where it all starts to go wrong, because that's where they have the artifact, uh, the vestige next to New Bodom. Um, and that's where they all were when shit went down. When activated, so they've got a new place in Grand Pulse called New Bodum with some of the members of Nora. And Sarah's there as a school teacher. Until Noel makes his way there and is like, oh hey, let's go find, you know, your sister. And something just seems really strange. I can't wrap my head around it that this guy from the future. Who says he's the last of humanity has gone to Valhalla and then has just went, okay, I'll go and help Sarah. But he knows. He knows the one that Lightning's fighting with in Valhalla. He said his name. I'm like, what what exactly is, is uh, your connection there? Being last humanity got kinda lonely, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well he made it sound it's strange. I'm there's two vibes. It made it sound like he done something stupid or but it kinda suggested it was more he just went jumping through time gates. Got monster bits, got a gas fragment. Uh, best of the bestiary. The seest, including monsters such as the ghast, are created by foul sea from living humans. People who have been made the sea are unable to build their focus. They are transformed into seest. Places where foul sea once were uh, active are often infested with large numbers of wandering seest. Foul sea have also been known to transform weaker humans into seest en masse. These unfortunate victims become souls puppets for their Falsy masters, forced to fight in their defence. Falsy often uses power when they are under immediate threat. That's that's what happened. Is this them explaining away something that happens in thirteen? Noel trying to steal Snow's beloved. <laughs> well, Noel, there's there's a weird vibe from him. Time travel, and if he's the last one, he's got nothing to lose. Changing the past can't make his timeline any worse. Mm. He said he was the last one born. But I don't know where from. But it's strange because his clothes look more tribal than anything that they were wearing in New Bodom at the start of the game. And he's, he says he's a hunter. So it went... I feel like at some point something major happened and they just went, we're going back to basics. Well, I say more tribal, I just meant like the pattern on him. Whereas... You know, huge and um, was it Maki had like the goggles. They had the more futuristic. <laughs> the world ends with you kind of vibe. Was that the one I'm after? There's a certain look that they they had. So we've got the gas. Oh, do I not need to do that anymore? Oh, I don't need to go and... Okay. 
But um, I think we can actually. Oh, go on, get to get one. Let me reposition myself. Single timeline, many worlds, sort of universe, and you just change which reality he's a part of. I went to the wrong one to start with. Damn it. Well, I think we have main points, like nodes to travel to, and then we can divert from there to different time periods for the same place. Because there's part of the map that I can't get to. So, these two squares are blanked out. Um, yeah, that, that's a thing as well. The, the light blue stuff is where I've walked already. The darker... It's just like... Yeah, the darker is where I haven't been. Now that, I can't... Um, the lower of those, I can't get into just now. Or... There's no way in that I can see. The bit on the right has a pile of rubble in it. So I think you get your full map completion because you can see at the bottom it says explored and there's a footprint and I've got 67% of the map done. I think you go and use the time gates that are here. So there's one there because it looks like a seeth stone and there's one there um, just above the two green dots. I think we use those to go to the same place different times to access those areas or change something which then means when we come back to this time it might be different but <laughs> when we loaded in we were given a tip which was we can close the gate and revert it to before we do any changes so we want to make a different decision. So before we pick up any of the artifacts or anything that will activate any of these gates. It's... Yeah, it, it could be interesting. Um, if it means I am not locked out of any fragments or anything happening, I'm happy with that. Oh, I can level up a bit more. Alright, what was I seeing for her? The small ones were commando. I am kind of following a guide for the leveling because I don't quite know what I'm going to get with each things and um, I don't I actually don't know what's beneficial to take when or if we get everything at the end. Or what I'll end up needing role based. Some travel is useful when you're unsure of what choice to make, just make all of them and see which one gets you the best result. Well yeah, well um Well I actually just say when it comes to the, the closing of gates, like if you want to see different choices or if you want to see, like get the, the fragments, but I don't know if it means we have to go and get other things before we can progress. Because the game did also say that uh, you might not have the abilities, you might not have the items you need, so you're gonna have to go and explore and do shit and then come back. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, you follow the guys who don't want to get to the point where rules don't cap off progression. Well, when it comes to 13, 13's straightforward in that there's um, a set. So you've got your CP, it's just a matter of where you want to spend it. So you can do badly if you then spend it on the roles which you're not meaning. So there's usually three primary roles that are good for a character in 13 and three that they're not quite as good on. But in the end, your stats, if you're going for everything, it works. This one's a little bit different in that you've got little nodes, so you know, like the sphere size on that is bigger than the one I was just on. So if I went and picked Commando to level that, I would get more strength. So I can change my ending strength 
and ending magic. Um, depending on what I put on which node. You can have it any way you want, but I don't know if it can kind of have you more of a jack of all trades, master of none, if you go along making it more balanced. Da -da -da. Oh, not a problem! <laughs> so it's a, it's, it feels a bit more involved for this. Especially with the leveling. I, I don't know about leveling the creatures. I'm gonna assume when I level something up, and if I then infuse it with another one, like, can I capture another one? Can I only have one of the, the, an enemy at a time? I think so. Wait, I kind of like this. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. So the big one's going to be Ravager. Small one, going to be Commando. Big one's Ravager. Ah, Kabira. Uh, we have... To do a small one, it's gonna be commando. Right, uh, what to do? You can be Ravager. Commando for your big one. So, yeah, I think they've done it in a way in this game where the time travel isn't locked in because you can undo what you've done. So you can go back to the point you started with the particular area. Which I can I can kinda get. You can just be like in a timeline, if you left it, everything that follows is then affected by what you've done in it. If you close it, you can change it. Although I don't know what exactly it then affects or changes if you go through most of the game, go back to the, one of the beginning areas and change something. I don't know yet. Hmm. I'm looking at that small one, maybe a Ravager. Uh, small one, maybe a Ravager. Maybe a Commando. I'm gonna. Not a problem. I don't. Uh... Is that good for that or no? Let's go with that there. We got one magic magic bonus there. But everything there. Hmm. A little bit more. Yeah, you're like a late bloomer, aren't you? So many upgrading um, materials that you can get for these. Ooh! You were the sentinel, weren't you? So you're like tanky, I guess. It'd be good for a sentinel role then. I'm just going to do this because it's all I've got then now. Aha! Oh, I wonder if you can... The cross. Something which is commando with a sentinel. And have the ability so that they can then be put in a sentinel role. Hmm. Maybe? I don't know. I, mean, I actually forgot how involved this could get. Because I'm sure you can only get certain enemies by infusing them. So with chocobos, it's like chocobo breeding. Um, and it might be the 
Depending on what colours you start with and what level they get to slash abilities they have, you then infuse them. And they might change into a different coloured chocobo, maybe? Yeah, I forgot a lot about this. I haven't actually delved into this deeply um, since I first played it. And that was way, way back. No, it's not breeding, but it, it's like infusing them. Which I guess is kind of breeding them. <laughs> not really. Uh, yeah, it's. I don't know. Oh shit, hold on. Da -da -da -da. What am I getting? Uh, 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 uh. Oh crap. Plant something. Damn it. 